So, uh, very good evening friends, hope all of you are doing well uh, this video and uh, by the way, RT, uh, congratulations to all those uh, candidates uh, who might even be watching this who are qualified, uh, very happy for all you all, but the special focus for this video is main focus on just a broad overview on uh, group 2 execution and uh, how to quickly uh, pick yourself up and keep moving forward for those who couldn't board the May 2024 bus. So there's absolutely nothing you lost, keep this in mind. So with that, let's quickly check up a few things. Direct tax, one subject which has got the ability to uh, shatter or confuse any candidate especially 10 days before the exam so you should watch out this thing so you should keep in mind Con starting from the execution aspect never ever even open or read MCQ at least till 2.45 pm because sometimes it might be very easy but most cases it will be a bit confusing and challenging which will eat away your description uh, descriptive presentation uh, time which is very handy so the ideal thing is for example and uh, you don't believe in all those friends who tell uh, I spent uh, two months three months on direct tax etc I'm not against those who spend a lot of time but to be very honest, I spent only 10 days for group 2 and you can, if you believe in yourself, there are any ways to qualify and come out. If you know the raw material required to get the goods manufactured and come out as a finished product. So the thing is, in questions in the exam, you should start with questions 5, 6 and 4 ideally and by the time it will be 320 you should have completed this 564 then you should go to mcq so technically 315 to 410 you should allot for mcq or i would say four o'clock and wherever you are in mcq stop at four then four to 435 you should do question one question two or three try to squeeze it and uh, 445 or 450 so maybe you can adjust the first three and you can finish within uh, three or three times so that you'll be having at least five to ten minutes question time because DT will always be most likely will be lengthy. So question five will be uh, how to score in question five is compulsory read the previous attempts case law and uh, current attempts. I'll definitely uh, brief you the case uh, case law that will be coming up for this time so do subscribe and uh, stay tuned to all those things and uh, coming to the preparation aspect so question four will predominantly be uh, question four is also called the tt combination that is the tds and the transfer pricing so tds many candidates end up investing 15 20 days but i would recommend 2.5 days is the ideal time that is required for TDS and the case laws that I was briefing on the question 5 invest 6 hours then equalization levy transfer pricing and non-residence so that will be for 3 days so then the question 1 will be mainly about PGBB adjustments and the assessment of various entities so all those things new tax regime so all those things practice and uh, probably can invest 4 days so if you see within 8 days 7 to 8 days DT will be under your control you can surely reach out in case if you if you're not getting any clarity on what I'm telling right now I'm fully available for you <laughs> so this is what mainly you should keep these things in mind and uh, the TDS for example this TCS uh, the foreign travel and all those things, foreign exchange expenses. If you feel the so best strategy will be to invest 40 minutes in the morning to recall the rates and the slaps and the radius will be very handy. And the 1.5 day tricks in the last 30 minutes before the exam is key golden rule. I repeat the main thing that I changed when I cleared the group 2 is 
I told myself I am not going to read anything after 1.35 pm. You should follow this for group 1 as well. Whatever you see at 1.40 or 1.45 pm might come. You might even score the 5 or 6 marks. But what this happens is the other topic which you read that might it might go deep in your head so that you might not be able to reproduce as to the extent that is required by the examiner. So these are the key things which many candidates miss out because everyone slogs, everyone puts in all work. But these are the mistakes which you should avoid, which you should compulsorily keep in mind. And next one, the time management techniques. Never get stuck with any questions, be it in preparation, be it in exam. Just mark and keep going, train yourself, practice that way because time is very critical. For example, uh, 4 marks or 2 marks MCQ, you should not miss more than 20 minutes. It's not going to add any value beyond that. And another key thing is, for example, those who are giving both the groups, don't let group one execution, for example, if I didn't go well or audit didn't go well, use it as a force to deliver, uh, give your 500 percentage group two, but don't get bogged down by that. That is not going to help you in any way. And another key rules, which is uh, because many have been reaching out to me personally, don't let May 2024. Uh, Results hit back bother you. Whenever you go into the shell, you should follow this. Engage in any fitness activity or try this. Take your mobile, record any topic, be it a digital audit, be it in days 176, be it a from theory, be it anything. So and then listen after half an hour 45 minutes. So because there is no point in thinking, oh I should have got at least two more marks in AFM. So many candidates are getting exemption. All these things, it's just your mind is controlling you, which is not going to help you in any way for your success. So this is very, very important. And it doesn't matter whether your close friends qualified, whether your neighbor qualified, or whether uh, so-and-so daughter is qualified. Nothing is going to help you for your career. So even if you qualify after 5 years, after 10 years, I'm sure you'll qualify now, but this is for you. So after even after five years if you you can still catch up you can beat anybody but this is not a comparison you are running your own race so just enjoy what are you doing enjoy the profession keep these things in mind best wishes and all the very best i'm sure all of you are going to rock and i'm sure i'm going to contribute a lot more for your success in the coming days this is just overall just as i promised so best wishes and have a fantastic time so stay focused stay happy and um, Take it as an opportunity to master yourself in the subject. That is the right talk process to have. So all the very best.